RNG massage, a bit of a rant in World of Tanks with Dangerously Incompetent. I'm driving the Hetzer Tier 4 German Tank Destroyer on Lakeville's Tier 6 Battle. Take a note of the M7 on the enemy team. Blue win rate player, purple in his M7 with a thousand battles in the M7. Well, that's seal clubbing the hard way. Is the M7 isn't that great a tank. Maybe he's not seal clubbing. Maybe he's just being really determined and trying to get the campaign missions. Well, I had a look at his profile after the battle, and I noticed that in his garage he had lots of premium vehicles. About 500 quid's worth of premium vehicles, by my reckoning. Now, if you were wargaming and you had a player like that, you'd want to encourage them to play more and pay more, wouldn't you? Say, by giving them an edge? Maybe massaging RNG in their favour so enemy shots missed and bounced whereas their shots hit and penetrated and did more damage? Bear that in mind as we watch my shots against him. He's going to pop up in just a second. Any second now, he's in the same place as that VK-30. He's obviously gone there to spot, which is a perfectly sensible move. Something you'd expect from a, a, a good player. There he is. Here comes our first shot. Aiming, aiming, aiming. Fully aimed in. Okay. Quite reasonable range. But... A miss. Veered off to the right. Banks. Well, not banks. This next shot. See what this next shot does. Okay, maybe not aimed the best, but still. Bounce. Hit him, but bounced. My penetration with this armour piercing on the Hetzer, 80 millimetres minimum. Average, 110. His armour, maximum, 50. The M7 is a weakly armoured tank, a tier 5. The third shot goes in. So, miss, bounce, hit. For average damage. Bang on average damage, in fact. If my first two shots had hit him, he'd be dead right now. And I think that would have made a sig that him being alive versus him being dead made a significant difference to the match. Not a huge one, but significant. He goes on to get a kill and he's perfectly capable of spotting for the rest of the match. Whereas if my two shots, first two shots had hit, he'd be dead. One less kill for the enemy team and not less spotting. And notice we are winning at the moment. A 5-2 up. The thing is, that sort of thing seems to happen a lot when I come up against high win rate players who turn out to have spent a lot of money on premium tanks, premium time, that sort of thing. So they've given Wargaming a lot of money. If you were Wargaming, you'd be tempted to give them an edge. Massaging RNG? It wouldn't have to be an awful lot. It wouldn't be blatant wouldn't have to make it blatant to make a difference. I mean, you just massage two shots at the beginning of the battle, and now he's alive and can still do stuff and can swing the battle in, in his team's favour. Very straightforward thing to do, because all those calculations are carried out on the server. Very few people have access to that in its raw state, and I bet the code for it is very tightly controlled. Only a couple of programmers will look at that code ever because it's at the core of World of Tanks. But on the other hand, that maybe is just be anecdotal. That go to T40, T6 Premium Tank, will be thinking the same thing about me. Because he's Tier 6, I'm Tier 4, I bounce a couple of shots and I finish him off. From having most of his hits to having none of his hits. <laughs> He'll be saying the same thing about me. Seeing my win rate, seeing the fact that I've got 45,000 battles, yet I'm down here in tier 4. Call me Seal Clubber, 
call me a premium noob, you're expecting me, say, you, me accusing me of being a hacker, that's what, it, well, that's what will be going through his head, but it's all anecdotal. He may be, I'm just remembering events that fit my preconceptions. That I keep on missing high win rate players who are premium pay to play players that they're paying to win. That miss, my first miss and then my bounce off the M7 are well within the realms of the RNG. I've done that to many other tanks who have low win rates, who are not playing a premium tank, who haven't given wargaming huge amounts of cash. So to prove this theory of wargaming massaging RNG in in the, in the favour of other play of some players, you'd have to do a rigorous scientific test and record all your matches, all your shots. Did they hit? Did they bounce? Did they do what much above average damage, below average damage, and record it against? Compare it to the people you're shooting at. Are they premium players? Have they given Wargaming a lot, a lot of cash? Uh, that's an awful lot of work, presuming you're able to do it, presuming that Wargaming expose all that information in their API. Oh, here he comes. Is it revenge time or will his premium ways pay off? No, oh, it's revenge for me, I get him. But then the A43 finishes me off with ease. Boo! Well, that's, that's a tier 6 medium versus a tier 4 tank destroyer. And watch what the A43 does. Whee! A 360 lateral. Yeah, everybody's doing that these days. So, back to my rant. Very hard to prove statistically, scientifically, but it's, it does seem to happen an awful lot. Or is it, is it just anecdotal? Is it just my memory playing me up? What do you think? What's you, been your experiences? Oh, look, a Skoda T40. He's a premium tank. Will the RNG massage save him? No, he's being shot at by loads of people. And all we've got left is the Hummel. Wow. So much for that battle then. As I was saying, is, is RNG massaging? Is it all in my head? Is it all in your head? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. As we say, a fond farewell to the last one.